Hey guys, Metal Breakdown here. So the only uh, veil of my uh, reactions I did so far on this channel is the one for Overthrow, the first single uh, of their new album, False Idol. And I did not uh, do any other reactions from the new album uh, after that. And it's really sad because uh, this album is a fucking masterpiece. Uh, Double Speak was released when um, I was banned, so I was not able to do it. And then uh, Whistleblower was um, released. After I've listened to the album already, I was planning on doing an album review, but it was during my uh, midterm exam week, so I was not able to do it. So yeah, I was really unfortunate um, with this band, like for doing video for this channel. But uh, I've listened to the album like 15 times already. Uh, it's so fucking good. Uh, I went to my records to my record store to pick it up uh, it was not available so I ordered it online uh, can't wait to have the physical in my hands and it will definitely be a contestant for uh, the best album of October 2017 so yeah now uh, after loving the uh, new album so much I'm ready to listen to uh, one of their older song I think from the album Eclipse um, the song Punisher uh, it's a really short track, but I'm sure it will be like straight to the fucking point and that it will blow me away uh, like all the songs on the new album False Idol deal. So let's fucking do this guys for the review and the reaction of Punisher by Vel of Maya. Gotta love the fucking chant. By the way, I think it was a different singer back then. Tell me if I'm wrong. But it still sounds so fucking good. Or maybe it was the first um, album with the new singer. Because so far I think the voice is similar, so... Incredible. So yeah, I just checked and this was with another singer um, called Brandon and the U1 Lotus. Uh, it's only in the band since Matriarch. But his voice is kind of similar. But he was definitely doing the last screens. Well, the new singer has kind of the voice of Spencer from Periphery. Like, it's kind of similar in my opinion. And Brandon's voice is like more aggressive. But yeah, Hell of Maya was way different back then. So fucking good though. It was more like in a dead core direction than the last two albums, I think. Not so fucking good already over only 2 minutes and 30 that was fucking great uh the only thing i'm really sad about is uh, that it was way too short god damn it um, so I'm definitely willing to do another Veil of Maya in the next planning. Uh, I would love to hear something from um, Matriarch. This is what I want to hear next. Like the first album with a Lucas. So yeah, tell me uh, which song is the best from the album Matriarch and I'll do it. Uh, I want to know the best um, 
the best track on this one. So yeah, just tell me and yeah, I'll do the one that you want. <laughs> so yeah, also if you're new here, you love Vel of Maya. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, like you can see, I'm really new to this band and I'm loving it so far. So yeah, if you want to uh, discover it with me, uh, jump on the Veil of my uh, discovering train. What the fuck am I saying? Okay, uh, the only thing I'm saying, if you love what I do or if you love Veil of my, uh, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, just thank you for watching. I'll see you all in uh, the next video.